Hey friend, I just wanted to pass along a message that God has been impressing on my heart lately for the non-believer, and it's this. If you believe that you were just born to just exist and die and go straight into the dirt, it's a lie. And it's a lie straight from the pit of hell. It's straight from the pit of hell that the enemy uses to distract you from your purpose. The enemy uses this to distract you from your calling. The enemy uses this to distract you from everything that you are called to be according to his purpose. Friend, you have to have incredible faith to be an atheist. It takes more faith to believe that we came from a big bang theory and all of a sudden these worlds were put into order. You don't blow up a bunch of car parts and expect a full running automotive vehicle. No, a, create, a designer puts those pieces together. It takes more faith to believe that gravity and physics are the only reasons why the earth is a certain distance away from the sun, far enough away so that we don't burn to death, but close enough so that we still get the perfect amount of sunlight that we need to survive on this planet. It takes more faith to believe that we're just a clump of cells rather than an intelligent designer fearfully and wonderfully knitting you by hand in the womb over a specific amount of time using a specific amount of cells, using a specific amount of DNA, using a specific precise amount of what makes you you. Whether you wanted to admit it or not, you were made by God, for God, to glorify God in everything that you do. God loves you so much and he has a plan for you. He has a purpose for you. He has a calling for you. But to believe that we just are here for no reason, to believe that there was no intelligent creator that created all the different species of animals, that created all the different species of plants and trees and all the different stars and different universes to believe that that we were just ordered out of chaos that we came to be these amazing human beings out of an atom of evolution to believe that there was no intelligent design no perfect designer that created everything that we see all the mountains and lakes the oceans everything if you have not looked around and have been in awe of God it's a lie. It's a lie right now and I'm telling you, you have been created, especially uniquely for a purpose for such a time as this. For a time in history as right now. God has a plan for you. God has a purpose for you. God knows the number of hairs on your head. He knows the, n the number of birds in the sky. He knows the number of stars in the universe. He knows the number of DNA strands in your body and what each represent. He knows everything about you. He knows your thoughts and your dreams and your ambitions, your, emo your emotions. He knows everything about you. He did not put you here by accident. You are not here by accident. You are not here just because. If you were born out of wedlock, you're not an accident. If you were adopted, you're not an accident. If you were born into a family that doesn't take care of you, you are still not an accident. God loves you. He created you for a reason and for a purpose. Please, please, please investigate Jesus. I implore you. I encourage you. I cannot stress enough how important your eternity is how important your, your eternity is to me. I'm willing to get on here and tell you the truth. And the truth is, people will tell you that we're just stardust. People will tell you that, and the enemy will tell you that because he doesn't want you getting close to God. He doesn't want you asking Jesus into your life to be your savior. He doesn't want you to go and be reconciled to the Father. He doesn't want you to be in heaven. He doesn't want you to be a citizen of heaven. He doesn't want you to walk fully in your purpose and fully in your calling and do what you were called to do, which was to glorify God, which was to represent God, which was to be an ambassador of the Most High King, was to be a daughter or a son of royalty. Listen, don't take what I say. I always say this. Don't take what I say to heart, but I always say go and research the truth for yourself. There's enough evidence out there to tell you that the Bible, one, is historically accurate. Number two, that it was true based off of eyewitness accounts. And number three, that there was an intelligent design that created you for a specific purpose. Go and research it for yourself. I don't, I want the, I want eternity for you so bad, so bad. Please, please go and look it up.
be blessed and encouraged in Jesus' name.